Hi, my name is Judith Love Cohen, and I've written a book called You Can Be a Woman Engineer. In this book, it's divided into three parts. The first part tells the story of an aerospace engineer, me, and how I decided to be it and what I had to study. The second part talks about engineering in general, what engineers study and what they do in their job. The third part talks about the qualities it takes to be an engineer and some questions you can ask yourself so you can decide if you would be good at it. Now, I'm going to concentrate today a little bit on the second part and talk about what engineers study and what they do. Now, first of all, I'm not talking about the kind of engineer that drives a train. I'm talking about the engineer that probably designs the train. There are many different kinds of engineers because they specialize. We'll talk about four different ones. First of all, mechanical engineers deal with things that move. Now, this could be anything from roller skates to spacecraft, cars, airplanes. All of those things are designed by mechanical engineers. The second kind of engineer are electrical engineers. They deal with things that use electricity. And this is anything from a digital watch to a television set to a microwave oven or your iPod. Civil engineers deal with things that are made out of concrete, big structures, bridges, tunnels, roadways, and stadiums. And then finally, we have chemical engineers that deal with things that have to do with chemical reactions. Now, this could be something like uh, making gasoline, but it could also be something like manufacturing cake mix. Those are all chemical processes. Now, we talked a little bit about qualities of engineers. Now, engineers have to be extremely precise, and they're concerned with measuring systems. So let's talk about something simple like measuring a piece of paper. The first thing you'd have to do is figure out, do you want inches or do you want centimeters? People have lost spacecraft because they've mixed up what kind of units they were measuring in. Then, it's important in order for something to be repeatable for you to be able to know where to start and where to stop. So if you're going to start measuring something, you'd probably want to put it in a specific corner of the paper or some place where there's an X or a little mark so that you can tell where to go back for both the beginning and the end. Now you can learn a lot more about what engineers do and whether or not you'd like to be one if you look in our book you can be a woman engineer. Check us out at our website, www.cascadepass.com.